What's up, guys? Welcome back to AI on Crypto, the place you come to to stay ahead of the curb, getting that alpha, that early stage information to help us just stay ahead of the game, right? Today, we've got our eyes set on an NFT marketplace called Fractal. Fractal NFT marketplace is being built on Solana first, but ultimately could encompass many chains and is going to be a gaming focused marketplace. Now, I'm really excited about this because it's being developed by the co-founder of Twitch, a guy named Justin Khan, and he's got an all-star team of executive managers beside him. And guys, in my history in cryptocurrency and, and play-to-earn gaming, I really like to go with projects that have outstanding teams. Now, Fractal might not have a coin, but this is going to be the place where there's going to be important drops new projects launching. You wanna have your eyes set to the projects that are gonna make a difference. And I believe Fractal has incredible potential to do that. Now they recently encountered some serious hardships in their very early stages. Some members of their communities got hacked by a scammer. And I'm gonna to get to how they responded to that and why I think it's a good sign that this company is going to be around for a long time. And ultimately, guys, it makes me bullish on the Solana blockchain being a place where gaming developers will ultimately go. So we're going to get into this new marketplace called Fractal live on this video right now. This is AI on Crypto. On this channel, we cover cryptocurrency prices and trends, altcoin gems, all the things on the blockchain to fill our bags to the max when we stay far away from Rec City, making daily cryptocurrency content covering NFTs, play to earn blockchain gaming, DeFi and more. So if you're looking for that kind of information in a concise and entertaining way, please subscribe to the channel, tap that bell. And if you like anything about the video, please give that thumbs up. Really helps out a lot. So before we jump into Fractal, this exciting new marketplace being built on Solana, I gotta remind you guys, I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own research before doing anything. All this stuff's highly risky, guys. What I'm presenting to you today is simply my own research in a video format for entertainment and information purposes only. Okay, so let's get to Fractal. One of my biggest success stories in my cryptocurrency career has definitely been Gala Games. <clears throat> I was able to make some big moves in Gala Games very, very early sub one cent gala, right? Um, node sub 5,000. You know, I got in it very early, but why? There was lots and lots of projects around at the time when gala was founded in the early stages of gala, right? They weren't the only gaming company. They weren't the only DeFi company. They weren't the only crypto startup, but they did have a team of leadership that separated themselves from the pack, in my opinion. Like, even when you looked at the number one game in blockchain gaming, Axie Infinity, when you compared the team of Sky Mavis to the team of Gala Games, there really was no comparison. Eric Schirmeyer founded Zynga Games. He's also the founder and CEO of Gala Games. He was able to take Zynga from nothing to an $8 billion publicly traded company where you can still buy its stock today. You have to be more than a brilliant coder in order to get something off the ground, especially something in grand scale like what Gala Games is trying to do. Anyways, I, I saw that Gala Games had that tremendous AAA talent at an early stage, and that's exactly what I'm seeing with Fractal. So Fractal is founded by Justin Kahn. I'm going to go ahead and read this article to you. <clears throat> Justin Kahn, co-founder of Twitch. Today announced that he will be launching a new marketplace for gaming NFTs called Fractal. The company already has partnerships with gaming studios that will be dropping new NFTs on the platform in the coming weeks. Players will be able to buy gaming NFTs directly from Fractal Gaming Partners as well as discover, buy, and sell gaming NFTs from other players. Many gaming companies today are already generating the bulk of their revenue from selling digital goods that have in-game value to players, and Fractal is the first marketplace to focus on gaming NFTs. Here's a quote from Justin Kahn, who is the co-founder of Fractal. 
I spent an obscene amount of time farming gold on MMOs, and that's before there was any sort of durable value. The shift to in-game assets being NFTs on a blockchain will unlock real ownership for players and new layers of programmability and interoperability in games. Developers will be able to make all sorts of new experiences on top of NFT games. That's the future that we are excited to build. So Justin Khan co-founded Twitch. Twitch is the number one social media platform for gaming influencers, right? If the co-founder of Twitch starts an NFT marketplace, it's going to get an incredible amount of attention, which means that's an incredible amount of attention on Solana. So to me, what this news is, it's bullish for Solana and the projects being built on Solana, specifically gaming ecosystems like Soul Chicks, Aurori, Star Atlas, and others, right? So how would I interpret this information of Fractal being this really interesting and nice looking NFT marketplace being built on Solana? Well, that's going to make me perhaps a little bit more bullish towards those projects I may have been looking at Solana when compared to another blockchain. I'm not telling you to FOMO into Solana and Solana projects, leaving your other holdings behind. By no means, do not do any FOMO, do your own research. But what I am saying is that the fact that this guy, Justin Khan, chose Solana to be their blockchain to begin on, they said they are open to working with other chains in the future, but the reason they chose Solana is because of their scalability and their, their low cost, right? The low barriers of entry. So that's just really bullish for Solana, guys. That's how I'm gonna interpret this information and try to use uh, my bullish sentiments on Fractal to my advantage because Fractal has no token as of right now. Now, other NFT marketplaces have launched coins and if Fractal did that, I would be very interested in getting in early. Again, not financial advice, but that is the way I see it. Now, just a couple of days ago, their Discord got hacked by some scammers and they got control of their announcement thread and they basically, they posted a link to a phishing site and were able to get into 336 uh, of their users or 373 of their Discord subs and empty out their Solana wallets, taking everything they owned in those wallets. And that is horrible. If this would have been an inexperienced upstart team without big uh, experience in the tech industry, I'd be very, very nervous for them. But let me, let's just read this and look how Fractal responded to this hacking incident. Discord hack steals Solana crypto from Fractal's in-game NFT channel subscribers. Using Discord's webhooks interface, hackers gained access to the official channel of the new Fractal marketplace for in-game NFT trading, established by Twitch's co-founder, Justin Khan. Instead of a link to a promised NFT airdrop giveaway, Fractal's Discord channel subscribers got a malicious one that was used to grant access to their Solana crypto wallets. Ultimately, 373 Discord subs clicked on it and connected their wallets to the anonymous scam account, only to see their sole holdings emptied in record time. Fractal has promised to compensate them for their losses, and they thanked the hackers for the free publicity. Now, that is a really chad way, an impressive way to deal with news like this. Now, when people fall for a phishing scam and they go and connect their wallet to some malicious account, Fractal is not legally on the hook to compensate them for their losses. They don't, they're not legally on the hook to do that. But the fact that they immediately jumped up and said, we are going to make you whole. Do not lose faith in us. Oh, and by the way, you piece of crap hackers. Thanks for the publicity. And you know what, guys? They look like a team that's going to absolutely learn from that and be stronger going forward. Um, to them, this is going to be a speed bump. For an inexperienced team, it could be a death blow. But these guys have... Do your own research on them. Look up their team. So guys, <clears throat> Soul Chicks is one of the biggest gaming ecosystems on Solana right now. It's got a lot of community members. It's got a lot of hype. And they have just announced a partnership with Fractal. You can see here in the Soul Chick Discord, we are delighted to announce that we have partnered with Fractal, a marketplace for gaming NFTs. Fractal's mission is to create an open platform for the free exchange of digital goods 
and we're excited to be launching on a platform with this belief. All right, guys, so basically what I'm saying is that hack did not deter the Soul Chicks organization from continuing on with a partnership with Fractal because they actually did this announcement one day after the hack. So I always am interested to see how new companies deal with negative news and the way that Fractal is dealing with this affirms my belief that they are a company to keep an eye on. If they drop a coin, I'm going to be very interested. But more so than that, like I've said throughout this video, it makes me bullish on the Solana ecosystem as I already have been, but it just makes me feel like even more so this guy, Justin Kahn, is choosing to be with the Solana blockchain. That's a very good sign. All right, guys, I hope you liked this video. If you didn't do it already, please subscribe, tap that bell, hit the thumbs up, and we'll catch you on the next one.